Disney CEO Bob Iger recently talked about the Han Solo film, The Last Jedi, and the future of the Star Wars franchise. First, Bob was very clear that they are not changing any part of The Last Jedi due to Carrie Fisher's passing away, nor are they going to do any sort of digital work for her. While they confirmed that months ago that they're not going to do any sort of digital manipulation, such as what they did with Rogue One, it's nice that they're reaffirming that, and also that they're not changing any of her performance for The Last Jedi, and they're leaving it as it is. If they're going to kill her in the movie, which is doubtful, I would prefer for it to stay the same. And if her storyline is more involved, like we were led to believe it will be in The Last Jedi, we can still have some things happening off screen in episode 9 that will sort of keep everything together. Next, the Han Solo standalone film will follow Han's life from the age of 18 through 24 which includes showing us how he acquired the Millennium Falcon and how he met Chewbacca. We'll also apparently discover how he got his name. As Disney has taken bits and pieces from the now Legends universe and added it to current canon, I'd be interested to see what they take from Legends and make it canon again. Some things I hope they keep is him winning the Millennium Falcon during a card game from Lando, and also saving Chewie's life in some manner that involves the Empire, which is kind of a given really. I don't think necessarily Han needs to destroy his career to do it in this new version, but it would be nice if it involves something high stakes for Han, showing that he's willing to go out of his way to help people, as we see in later canon. Still in Han Solo film news, Ian Kenny has been cast, and there's no information on the character he's playing, but I'm betting it's a tough smuggler type. Lastly, Woody revealed his character's name in the film is Beckett, and he's kind of a criminal and mentor to Han. This character is likely an original character, as there's no Beckett in Legends, but that doesn't mean it can't take pieces from Legend material or characters. Finally, perhaps the most exciting news is the future of the Star Wars movies. The CEO of Disney recently admitted that originally they were only going to do the three films, so a new trilogy, and that was it. But he admitted now they're thinking about movies for the next decade and a half. That's a whole lot of Star Wars movies, and I am completely on board. But what about you? Are you happy that they're keeping Carrie Fisher's performance the same in Episode 8, regardless of her passing? And how do you feel about another possibly two decades of Star Wars films? Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.